Hello, hello, testing. Is the game too loud? Who knows? Welcome to stuff. Well, in a second anyway, as I finish setting up. Seems good so far? Alright, that's good to know. With the chat room thing over there. With game window over here. You can't see me adjusting these things. It's a secret. And the recent events. Wait, come come back. <coughs> Cough hack. Over here. <coughs> right then. Final Fantasy V. It's the time of the year when it's the four job fiesta. Which means that I will be limited to a certain number of jobs after I unlock crystals. And good old Gilgabot on Twitter will be telling me what I have to work with. Um, you get the first job when you sign up. So when we get the wind crystal, I will be all monks for a while. I've done the li I've taken the liberty of skipping the game's intro because it's. It's unskippable. So I mean like I let it play out before I started. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, we're not even gonna have any jobs for a little bit. Monks do punch, yes, that's what they do. They punch, they can kick, they can counterattack, they can charge up. That's basically it. This is the Steam version of the game, by the way. If you're perplexed by any of the graphical choices, that is why. Particularly the giant Amano art forcing its way out of the text box borders. Like that. It's a little unfortunate. I got used to most of it. It's just nice playing it on Steam, I guess. <clears throat> and our character today will be named Poshal. <laughs> um, yes. From Chrono Cross. <laughs> the best character from Chrono Cross, obviously. Not, not really. There's probably not a whole lot to say during the start of this. Unless I read all the text, but I'm not going to do that. I've stopped doing that. <laughs> if I really wanted to make this expedient, I probably could have just saved outside the wind shrine or something like that. But I always like doing the start of the game, because I always want to name Bart something different every run. Here's Galuff. Galuff is the best character. <coughs> He's got the Amano art. The sole Amano art that's not at all objectionable, I think. Because he looks like a huge grumpy man, which is funny to me. Hello! Oh, thank you for the bits. Hello. I should check something. Let's see. Hmm. 
I guess I'll leave those. Uh, these portraits are awful, for one thing. They're based on the art by Amano, so it's like the official character art, but they didn't even try to confine them within the text boxes or anything. I mean, the Game Boy Advance version's portraits were based on that, but they were like, adjusted to fit? These are not adjusted to fit. These are just bad. <laughs> And the sprites are a little weird too, like the graphics overall in the Steam version are strange. But I, I got used to them mostly. Because the Steam version is like based on the iOS version. And I guess they needed to, they felt like they needed to airbrush over all the sprites to make them look weird? I, I don't know. No, I think RPG Maker sprites look different than this actually. <laughs> Maybe... I, I would say that RPG Maker sprites are generally more detailed and better than this, actually. However, I do like the sprites in battle sometimes, because they have, like, different poses for every single job. Which I think they did before, but they're, like, different ones from before also, and some of them are pretty goofy. So we'll see some of that, hopefully. Also, hello, everyone. <coughs> it's weird, the enemy sprites don't look that much different. It's just like the character sprites and the character portraits that are... something. But I don't really get... I don't really agree with it when people say this looks like RPG Maker or something, because... The RPG Maker RTP is actually pretty good, usually. Oh well. If only we could replace the sprite with actually Poshul from Chrono Cross. Maybe even add in the obnoxious way of speaking that Poshul has. That would make it awful. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> the way Bart's portrait is cut off with like his his right arm over there looks a little weird to me. Looks like that's not an arm but like a continuation of his chest or something like that. Portraits aren't even, like, aligned in the same way in the text boxes. They were just slapped on there. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe one day I should stream the awful Steam version of Chrono Trigger and make fun of the UI that they keep patching. <laughs> I'm sure it's a little better by now. I don't know what they've done to it. This is probably the only Final Fantasy game where a chocobo is important enough to get its own portrait. I think. Oh, they haven't done anything to the UI of the Chrono Trigger Steam version? Huh. <laughs> Boy, exciting first dungeon without any jobs time. I don't think I don't think Monk will be too bad for Garula. 
I mean, I've had to do Garula with four thieves more than once. I've never actually gotten Monk before, but I've gotten Thief like 17,000 times or so. <laughs> Gilgabot is rude to me sometimes. Oh yeah, I had to do Gorilla with four white mages before as well. I forget how I managed. But I think... I think monks will be easier than white mages or thieves. At least if I can get their, like, power up skill, whatever it's called. Gorilla won't get as many counterattacks and I'll do more damage. I think monks are basically good for the whole first act of the game at least. But we'll see if I'm wrong. Get used to me mashing the attack button, because that'll probably be a significant portion of the future. Now, there are a few things about the Forbidden Run that I have learned through observation that could make this interesting, let's say. One, it doesn't work with the, the 750 or no 750 things. I registered as forbidden no 750, but apparently that doesn't matter from what I can tell. Um, two, you can get the, the jobs that were added in the bonus dungeons. And three, unless there's more than one punishment for reaching the void, well, maybe I shouldn't spoil that part. I guess I probably don't need to press that switch, do I? Or whatever. <coughs> Yo ho ho and stuff. <laughs> And, um, courtesy of the Amano art, Forest looks nothing like Forest half the time. I mean, no one really looks like who they are anyways, but Forest is the most different. Most of the time I don't really like Amano's art. Sometimes it's really funny to me. Like the Amano art from for Vivi from Final Fantasy IX is a good example. Sometimes it's actually good. Like the portrait for Galuff here is pretty good. The art for Steiner from FF9 is pretty good. It just basically seems to be... However ridiculous Amano is feeling that day is how good or bad the art is. It's interesting to look at, but it never matches anything. And he has some things that he just always sort of repeats throughout it. Like everyone is deathly pale. Unless they're Barret, in which case they're like... 
he inverted the colors, basically, <laughs> if I remember right. Oh dear. <clears throat> Yeah, and sometimes it's just impossible to understand. Like, the VV art is just an explosion of colors with VV dressed in so many layers that he can't put his arms down. What has to happen for an entire crew of pirates to be missing the same eye? Except for the captain. Except also when they turn around the eye patch flips, but you know, whatever. <laughs> That's how video games work. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. A mono art is characters dressed in curtains a lot of the time. Soldier looks really happy to be here in this version of the game. Ah. That makes sense. The, the eye patches thing. I guess Forest is just too cool to need to adjust to the dark then. Ah, I accidentally hit yes. Whoops. Typically, I like to go to the town and buy broadswords or whatever, but I guess I don't really need to. You find a broadsword in the dungeon, at least. And buying broadswords would be kind of a waste anyway when I have to de-equip everyone afterwards, because monks... Yep, monks fight unarmed. One of you gives me potions, right? There we go. No monk weapons at all. I mean, I think they can use some weapons, but they're much better unarmed. Hello! Personally, I don't really think having three separate links in Smash Ultimate's really a problem. I mean, it's a little silly, but... Oh, shoes, okay. In this game, monks can equip, like, some knives, I believe? And maybe some other things? In Final Fantasy 1, there were some monk weapons, but monks quickly became better when unarmed, so they weren't really useful.
But in this game, they're mostly unarmed. There's like a, there's an accessory that increases their power much later. There's their broadsword. Not much to say about the first boss. <laughs> if you attack it while its wings are closed like that, it re retaliates. That's the whole thing. And now we get Monk already. Hooray! Well, I mean, we will after this cutscene. You're close, more or less. <laughs> the crystals get shattered in a few cases because they're trying to rely on their power too much. So they like overuse the power and the crystals explode, basically. Mostly they're just breaking because the seal is breaking. The seal on X death, that is. Also, King Tycoon's mono art portrait thing is really funny looking to me. Not that kind of seal, unfortunately. The headgear must be symbolic because as a king, he's blind to the suffering of the poor people, obviously. Actually, he seems like a pretty decent king, all things considered. This game doesn't really have bad kings in it, I guess. One's a bit greedy. Maybe two. Look at this iOS as heck tutorial screen.
And now... Okay, monks actually can't equip anything, I guess. Because you can see it lists the things they can equip. So... It is time to punch and kick. In the iOS version, the monk's kick command ignores the rows of you and the enemies, so it's a little more useful. Also, it's still funny to me that they try really hard to, like, not let on that Forrest is a girl at first, but it's pretty clear from her sprites. Mostly just in the sense that, like, there's patterns going on a little... Like, you can see that that Bart's or Poshal and Galuff have the same sort of knight outfit, and then Lena and Faris have the same sort of knight outfit. I mean, also breasts are visible, but you know. <laughs> also, the Steam version gives you an achievement for figuring out that Faris is female, which I'm still not 100% sure on how I feel about that. But, but that's a thing that happens. I punched a goblin. Hooray! Uh, they find out Faris's gender by accident, by the way. The entire reason that Faris is presenting as male is because, well, she'll explain it later. I think she basically goes by female after you figure it out. So, we'll, we'll see that part. I believe I need to go talk to this house. <laughs> and that's true too, Forrest would probably kill anyone who harassed her. <laughs> at least at this point, but... The opening of this game has a lot of cutscenes that you can't really skip. It mostly stands out in comparison to the later parts of the game where cutscenes aren't as long. Also, these are some loud, noisy bugs going on at night. Even though I named Bart's Poshal, I'll probably still keep calling him Bart's the entire time. Oh boy, a flashback. For some reason, in this version of the game, the flashbacks have this... Um, unsafe looking orange haze over them? Like, is this the world's worst attempt at sepia tone that ever happened? I, I don't understand. I'm pretty sure they looked a lot better in the other versions, or maybe they didn't have like a filter at all. I don't know what this weird orange fog is though. I do like the music here. Not the crickets.
Hmm? They didn't give me control of anyone before the flashback. Bart's walked out on his own. I forgot about controlling Cloud during the death scene, though. That's a bit silly. Hello! Welcome! Of course we can't leave without Faris. Oh wait, I'm forgetting something. Awful lot of talking at the start, though. And back in, because I forgot a thing. All right. I have to get a lap dance because it's in the way of our piano. <laughs> A lap dance where three of them fuse into one person. And then just say woo a lot if you keep talking to them? Anyway. <laughs> Piano skills leveled up! This is important if we get the Bard class, and never otherwise. Um, also, I guess, while I'm here, where is the item shop? I guess that's usually in the inn. That's the noise you get for hugging me. Oh boy, more talking. That's right. Yeah, the... The, um... The posing in this game looks like he's just waving his arms around instead of flexing. It's kind of weird how they're still going on about whether or not they're going to do this after they were given explicit directions that they had to do this and given power of crystals and stuff. But they had to have like a second or third scene about are we going to do this or not? How about you? How about you? I don't know. Eh, whatever. This game is really front-loaded with talky bits. 
but we'll get through it soon enough. I think kick looks different. I don't recall the the second half of that animation existing before. They just went like whoop instead of making the punchy noises and stuff. Why would you seal a monster in a in a canal like that you would probably need to use? That's like if you decided to seal a monster inside your neighbor's house. Maybe. I mean, unless you really didn't like your neighbor. Carl. Carl was brought back in Final Fantasy XIV in one dungeon. Please stop killing people. Yeah, it's a little underwhelming when they seal a giant lobster, and that's it, I guess. I hope you like this punching sound effect. It might not be wise to use all my potions right now, but I guess I'm doing it. <laughs> Hooray! We punched a moderately large crawfish a lot. In terms of losing a method of transportation, this Final Fantasy is probably one of the ones with a record time. Like time between getting this boat and losing this boat might even be shorter than the time between getting and losing the first airship in Final Fantasy 3. I don't actually know. Don't worry, Forrest, we'll get Sildra as a summon if we bother in the third act of the game. <laughs> the good ship expendable. 
It's funny because in Final Fantasy 3, the last airship you get is called the Invincible. Presumably because it's not actually going to get blown up like the other several vehicles that you had. I guess the canoe doesn't blow up either. Time for the ship graveyard. Actually, okay, the game healed us already. There's a bed where you can rest down there. Don't forget the part where the first airship in FF3 crashed into a rock on purpose. I think that's important. Hmm. Perhaps. Given that monks seem to take a lot of damage, and Kick allegedly ignores Rose in the iOS version. Why is this an RPG Maker game? The sprites are less detailed. <laughs> At least the player character ones. <laughs> okay, fair enough. At least in RPG Maker RTP stuff, everything does kind of match. Anyway, since Kick apparently ignores Rose, and Monks take a lot of damage... I'm gonna try this. Putting them all in the back. Yeah. Also, Monks' damage formulas are very, very affected by what level they are. So, you'll notice the damage jump up a lot, apparently. Monks can use some armor, but they can't use any weapons. Yeah, I guess that's basically the idea. The increasing damage for level in, like makes up for not being able to use any weapons, but monks kind of fall behind eventually, from what I understand. Until you get an accessory later, which makes them more powerful again. So I'm gonna have to remember to look for that one once we get to Act 3. So that's a little while yet. Oh, whoops, I accidentally pressed a diagonal and those holes are real. Okay.
Anyway, this is the part where they accidentally find Faris's gender. And they briefly make a big deal out of it, because this is video game from a while ago. <laughs> Shut up, Kalaf. Sad music plays. And this is the entire reason why Forrest is presenting his mail at the start of the game. Gullup refuses to believe he could be gay. <laughs> Faris is prepared to fuck shit up. <laughs> and that's like... And that's how it goes. Faris is just like, yeah, okay, fine. I'm a girl. But if you say anything, I'll kill you. <laughs> And everyone's like, oh, um, okay. And then Gala falls out of bed like an idiot. Bartz gets it, Lena gets it, Gluff's old. And now that's out of the way. In the Steam version, again, you get an achievement there for figuring that out. Which is a little bit awkward. Let's say. Hooray! Now we have focus. Oh, and we got an elixir too, that's handy. Nice of the fog overlay to stop in place every time there's a text box. And yeah, that that's a mandatory plot point, so it's, it's really just like an arbitrary progression achievement, like people like to do. I played Dragon Quest IX a little bit, and I think that you could psych up by default in that one. I don't remember for sure. Whenever Dragon Quest XI comes out on Switch, I'll probably give that a shot. Should've healed. So this is the kind of translation that we're playing, by the way. Since it's from the Game Boy Advance version, it's mostly the same. It's very cheesy <laughs> the entire time. Here's a lengthy scene. Oh, okay. Psych up was a monk thing. 
I really enjoy the cheesy translation of 5. I mean, the alternatives are bad translations. Pretty much. Unless there's a fan translation. In which case, the alternatives are bad ones or probably vulgar ones. Because fan translations like to add a lot of excessive swearing from, as far from what I can tell. <laughs> game's really laying on the foreshadowing pretty thick also with certain elements of the plot. No, this isn't a Woolsey translation. This is much later than... This is much later than Woolsey, since this was the translation on the Game Boy Advance version. The other translation for this game was on the PlayStation 1, because this game wasn't released in English until the collection of 5 and 6 on the PS1. And that translation wasn't Woolsey either, it was mostly just like a bare-bones, kind of wrong tr translation. Although it went all in with pirate, with Forrest sounding like a generic pirate, so that was even worse. I like this twist where Amnesia saves the day because Galuff can't remember what this siren is tempting him with. That's kind of that's kind of creative. And then also Galuff slaps everyone to dehypnotize them. Every time you lose this boss fight, you have to watch this scene again, and this boss fight can be really difficult for some of the combinations you can be given in the Fiesta. Because she has one form that's highly resistant to all physical attacks. And does mean stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Seraphie, but I am interested. Please explain. Um, you are the damaged one. actually know if there's a reason to use focus rather than just attacking twice, other than if the boss is one that counterattacks every hit, because then you, you do... yeah, there we go. Undead Saroon doesn't keep her protect though, at least, but now she takes crap for damage. And does stuff like this. Oh, but critical hits ignore defense. That's right. Yeah, you can heal her too. You can dump potions or wait. I don't think elixirs or phoenix downs work. But you can dump other healing items on her. Like, if I try to use the phoenix down, it just will miss. But yeah, you can do that if you want. There, there is a boss in the game that Phoenix Downs do work on, but it's not this one. You'll have to trust me on that. Also, her undead form does like a bajillion damage. So there's that too. And now she's back to her not undead form, where she still has Protect. Protect makes me do not very much, but still more than I would otherwise. Okay, I guess that wasn't so bad. Monks do a lot, so...
armor that we can't use. At least not yet. We might get something that can use it. I think a cheesy translation is really appropriate for Final Fantasy V because it has a few moments that are basically like the end of episodes where everyone laughs as the, as the, you know, that's a thing that happens a lot, is what I'm trying to say. For some reason, Poshul and Forest are higher level? It doesn't really matter. This version of the game is nice enough to put an exclamation mark over your head when you can interact with something. So, that way, you can tell when you have something to take out of a pot or a crate or whatever. Oh, they can use these. Okay. But they can't use cotton robes? That's weird. I guess I shouldn't sell anything yet, just in case. Um, the forbidden... the part that makes the run forbidden is that when you get to the void at the end of the game, you have to tweet another thing at Gilgabot and you get a punishment. Now I've seen... oops, I don't want to do that again. I've seen one example of a punishment I don't know if that's the only sort of punishment that there is, and I don't know that I want to just spoil what it is. Because it's supposed to be, like, mysterious or something. But if enough people just want me to say what, it, what I saw, then I guess I could. Now you can talk to people in this town to get hints on where to go next, but it's pretty obvious actually. Also, there's this. The frost rod there is pretty useful if you are if you have the correct party to use it. I got stuck on that man. Technically I tried to register this as a team no 750 run as well as Forbidden, but it seems like Forbidden does not actually work together with that. So I could get a magical class that can use rods at some point. 750 or no 750 is just like, 750 is the price of buying a rod and you can break rods to cast powerful spells early. 
So a Team 750 is you only get classes that can break rods or have a similar theme. And no 750 is you get only mostly physical classes. So, yeah. Right now we only have monks, and monks cannot equip or break rods. So... That rod won't be of any use. We just gotta punch things. You can only break rods if you can equip rods, because you have to equip them and then use them. And that's how they get broken. I get the feeling that just doing regular attacks is still a lot more efficient than kicking. Oh, you can use potions on people who don't need them by accident. I forgot. That's fun. I think I'm missing a treasure, but whatever. It's probably not important. Okay, maybe kicking is better. Cool. So, most versions of this game don't accept diagonal inputs, but because this is the Steam or iOS version, it does. Which is usually a nice thing, but... If you're trying to be precise, uh, you might screw up. Wait, why is Kick missing? Don't do that. Thank goodness for built-in counterattacks, I suppose. And here we are at a boss fight, in a second at least, that I might die on and have to grind, maybe. Because as mentioned before, monk damage is very dependent on their level. So grinding will actually be very helpful. Lena getting poisoned by the plot count, one. I think it only happens like two or three times total, but it's still always Lena. This is the one point in the game where an NPC thinks that Faris is still male after she reveals her gender, I think. Or at least the one point where it's mentioned.
Lena actually starts this battle poisoned, and you actually get that iron helmet that you picked up as an item in your inventory, which is pretty funny. Yeah, maybe I should focus. I think this boss calls in her husband when she's at a low enough HP amount, or after a certain amount of time. Yep, there it is. Focus can't choose a target, I just noticed. All right. So, um... I know some people like racing games a lot, but apparently Megissa here married one. His name is Forza? <laughs> is that legal? It does entirely too much damage, though. <laughs> like, this whole boss fight does entirely too much damage. Oh, I don't have any potions left. <laughs> yep, gonna have to grind. Almost certainly. By the way, yeah, Drain does a lot. <laughs> Oh, well, okay, Quartz is dead, but still. Oh, hey, I won. <laughs> barely. Extremely barely victory. Alright, sure. Forest, thank you indeed. Um, let's hope I can get back to the save point without an encounter, yes? I had no idea that someone had actually married their car. I'm not sure why they would let that happen when they won't let, you know, marriage equality with people happen. Uh, yeah, only Forrest got job experience for that. But I think that's better than having to, like, grind and then... By the way, the description for the whip is best used when problems come, come along in this version of the game. And the Game Boy Advance version. Then I getting poisoned by the plot count number two. So close together. This is Lena's character trait. She is willing to get poisoned in order to do things. She doesn't have much of a personality, really. Except for, like, rushing into poisonous danger. Constantly. <laughs> Thankfully, the dragon can fix everything. Hooray! Here's the sitcom laughter moment. That is a pretty generic character trait, yeah. 
Actually, actually eating food in an RPG is probably rarer than that character trait of rushing into danger and getting poisoned. Nobody eats food on screen. What the heck is up with any portrait in this game is that it's the Steam version and they put the Amano ones in and just sort of, uh, you know... They didn't even try to confine the portraits within the text boxes, and it's a little distracting. Oh, it's a mithril helm, not an iron one. Funny you should mention these frogs, by the way. Because... This one has a silly piece of dialogue that I didn't notice for a long time. Ish, kind of the um, the water crystal. So we'll get our second job soon. Although we might not actually get a job that we can use yet. And I don't know if Garula is going to be very fun for monks. There's only one crystal that exploded. We don't have any evidence that both crystals will explode. That is an extremely blurry meteor. A giant meteor fell near the important power source. Let's take the king there immediately. The king has no regard for his own safety. Anyway, um, I guess there's a possibility I might need to grind for the upcoming boss fight too. As important as, the, as they make the meteor sound, it's actually not at all useful right now. You're just supposed to go into the tower immediately, and then everyone's dead. The town that's always on fire is Karnak. That's the next one. This is the town that's always on water. Also, all the dungeons in the early part of the game are, like, really short, for some reason. And I don't think I've ever figured out how to get that one chest.
But alright, I don't have any potions still. <laughs> and everyone takes so much damage. Guess I should have ground for money a little. Oh, hey, cool, potions. I guess I might as well see, just in case, if I can beat Garula at my current level with no healing items. It's not likely. Garula counters all physical attacks, by the way. <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> you could see Garula trying to move after... So, okay, Garula's going to counter every monk attack twice because they hit twice. Where does Resume take me? Oh, there's a autosave here. Anyway, bye. I'm going to go do something else. I don't actually know what you mean, Tam. <laughs> I think I'm missing something obvious here. Oh, like a multiple of five or something? I mean... That's true. I still don't know how to get that. Oh, there's stairs here. Oh. I couldn't even tell that those were stairs. What is this, anyway? Hmm. Oh. Can't use it. Yeah, the level 5 death thing was quite a thing, I suppose. Yeah, I think Lena's dress is supposed to be like the sort of thing Chun Li wears. There's another bad idea I could engage in. 
Actually, is what's is what's the I'm sure there's stuff to find around Waltz, or Waltz, somewhere. I keep calling it Waltz. Waltz. Blah. <laughs> hmm. I know that you can get to the place with Shiva. Which is a bad idea to try at this point, most likely. Don't know why you can go to the moat from there. Because there's like nothing there. Shiva's up here. Fighting Shiva is probably equally a bad idea to, uh... Fighting... Um... You know... Weirdo. Shiva's only really important if you get Summoner. I think it is true that Shiva's the only permanently missable summon. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it sounds right. Might as well see how badly this goes, because I'm just curious. Yeah, that's about what I expected to happen. Add insult to injury, the last kick missed that would have killed them. I 
Anyway. Let's not. I basically just need to beat up enemies and get levels. That monk level is going to do a whole lot of nothing for us while we still have monks, because all it does is make you better at barehanded attacks, like a monk is. But we're already monks, so it doesn't do anything. Ah, okay. Well, this is the place with the jackalope's basement. We'll get back to that in a second. Um, Abusable? I thought it was more like a passage that abused you instead. <laughs> Unless there's something I'm not getting. Oh yeah, the quick save exploit. I don't know if that works in this version. I don't even know exactly how it works anyway. Come on. Oh, are you just gonna back attack me every time or something? I tried putting myself in the back row for this purpose. Um... The elven mantle is the important part. Because it does that. And now, probably a little bit of grinding. The most exciting part. Could you stop back attacking me, everything?
Hello! One level up, I'm going to say is probably alright. I've gotten a few since I tried Garula. So hopefully I should be able to, you know, do something. It would probably be smart to play Garula safer as well. In the sense that, like, not just make everyone attack at once because Garula will counter everyone twice because they're all monks. All of my kicks are doing 69 damage at this level, except for that one, I guess. <laughs> Alright, here's my plan on how to play Garula safer. Farts or Poshal with the Elven Mantle, who can maybe dodge things, will be in front, focusing to do the damage, and everyone else will just help. <laughs> and do what they can. This might be playing it too safe. <laughs> Or maybe it wasn't playing it safe enough, I don't know. <laughs> and here's Rush, the worst part.
Ugh, come on! This is the worst boss. I, I can't afford Phoenix Downs, you butt. Oh, hey, I guess the uh, potion doesn't get any job experience again, but I managed. But of course, we're not here in time. Berserker! Oh boy, Time Mage. Warriors! Spirit Mystic Knight! By the way, we can't get this one yet. This one, is, That one over there is mime, and we can't get that until endgame. Because, as soon as we grab all the other ones... This happens. It like points you towards it as if to say hi, you can't get this one. Also the unimportant soldier makes sure to die in front of the door so you can't leave the other way. Surprise! Soldier wasn't quite dead yet. going to inhale everyone. Now Soldier's dead. Horus <laughs> had to deal with Soldier dying twice in a row.
And now that we have, oh, everyone's still dead. I should, let me go to the inn first. <laughs> but now that we have the water crystal, it's time to tweet to Gilgabot and get the second job. And so, it's time, like I said, for Gilgabot time. Let's see, at FF5 for futures, hashtag water. No, not watermelon freeze, you dumb Twitter autocomplete thing. Stop it. And now we wait. At least a little bit. And I get the fire job Geomancer. Okie dokie then. So we're still monks for the time being. Because I obviously don't have that one yet. And so, let's see. Editing things on the stream if this will work. Ta-da! And now Gilgabot time is over. So you can return to the corner. But of course, we don't have Geomancer yet, so we're still monking it up for a while. That is indeed the class that wears pajamas. I got Geomancer last year in the run I didn't finish, because I got Chemist in that run, and I really hate Chemist. Because you need, like, charts and graphs to play it if you want to use the mix ability. Anyway, um, now we use this meteorite to get to the town that's on fire. Oh boy, we're gonna have to punch the fire boss to death too, huh? For some reason, this one particular line of dialogue here, did he make it? Did he warp? Is really funny to me. <laughs> okay, if Galuff was voiced by David Hayter, that'd be pretty good. I don't think it would fit, but it'd be pretty good. Geomancer doesn't seem bad, from what I remember experiencing. They're not great, but they're not bad. The iOS version makes them better as well, I believe. I think with the iOS version of Geomancer, the uh, Gaia command is not based on level, it just always functions as if you were at level 99 in previous versions of it, in terms of like what spells it selects to use and whatnot. So that's, that's handy. We'll get Geomancer after this dungeon, but we'll also get another job after this dungeon. Hello! Welcome. This is the town that's always on fire. If you examine the fire, you do a jump. If you examine the fire from other directions, you do different things. Sometimes. Everything is super cheap. Oh, if you cancel out of buying things, you get arrested too? Okay. So I guess I don't get a... I don't get an opportunity to use the discount. I thought you could cancel out. 
Oh well. No Poké Fusion today, because today the Final Fantasy V Four Job Fiesta started. I've never figured out how to make this scene go faster. I, I'm not sure if there's a way to make it go faster if you just have to wait for this. Come on, Sid. Come on! There. And now we have more Amano art. Sitcom laughter moment. Eh? Stream? My stream hasn't messed up according to my statistics. Yeah, rub it in, why don't you, Lena? Okay. After this dungeon, we will have the uh, fire crystal as well. So they get you the second and the third one pretty close together. I can't imagine it would be that comfortable to live in a place that's always on fire, but I guess you can get used to anything. That fire will be gone soon enough, by the way. <laughs> Racism! At least they don't kill the werewolf. I mean... Werewolves have been Final Fantasy monsters before, so maybe it makes sense. But... At the same time, no. Don't, don't do that. Time to grind for equipment. Good thing those dogs in the woods come in large groups that give you a lot of money. Time to kick large groups of dogs in the woods.
Also, I think this might be the first version of the game that lets you know when the move question mark question mark question mark is being used. Usually it just happens without the pop-up. Because it's supposed to be weird like that. Now, I don't actually know how much money I need as an exact number. Okay, I guess I killed him in one kick now. Except for sometimes when I don't, I guess. Oh, that reminds me of a fun thing. Bestiary keeps track of how many monsters you have killed of each type across all save files. So you can very clearly see, like, things I have grinded on. Like this one here. <laughs> we'll get to them eventually. 4,211 of those enemies. I don't think the library will be... You, you have a bit of time before the library, because we have to do the fire ship and then we have to escape from the castle. Um, might be worth checking. This boss might also be a pain in the butt, so... We'll see.
Sorry it took a while, Sid. I had to go beat up some dogs for money. By the way, if you didn't get the world map in the ship graveyard, it will appear in this dungeon. I don't know what happens if you don't get it in this dungeon. Presumably nothing? I don't really- the world map would appear right here, by the way. It'd be very easy to see. And yeah, I, I don't know why you're fighting dust. It's labeled as crew dust, so it's either like... the dust of previous crew members, or cr dust that is the crew members, or... I don't know, allergies? Yeah, there are more monsters here. We just happened to encounter a bunch of the same one at first. There's at least one more as well. I never remember which one of these things is what. Okay, that was... that was going back. So I went in the correct one, actually. But through the other ones, there is stuff. Not stuff that I can use right now, but... Oh, that's where that is? I guess I misremembered where things were. That thing's like a thief glove, I guess.
And here's the boss. I keep exiting and entering just in case, because I don't know where the autosave happens, but it's somewhere. The queen is possessed. Oh no. Counter everything with blaze. Forget how you work. I guess so. I believe this boss can run itself out of MP as well, if I'm remembering correctly. So if I just let it sit here using fire to heal itself, then I've barely damaged it. Yep, there we go. That was faster than I thought it would be. Naturally, not all of its attacks even cost MP, though, so it doesn't matter too much. And we can miss. <laughs> Can't do that anyway. Yeah, I don't have Rasper Osmos. You're expected to be able to, like, cure yourself at this point. I was kind of hoping I would miss both times, actually. Alright, what's the hand to do? It has a separate MP pool, or a fire that's free, or something. Okay. This is a really weird boss fight. If I could use rods, I could just break the ice rod on it, and it, it would die immediately. so it doesn't always counter the person who attacks it. But I didn't have any more... Phoenix Downs because those are expensive. <laughs> Mama. 
since it sits in this form forever, doing nothing, I guess I can use this time to heal. You're kind of stuck then. And unless you turn into the humanoid form and use Blaze, you can't really do a whole lot. And I counter you if you use Rush. Sometimes. Hey! That wasn't too bad. First try for that one. It doesn't matter too much if you don't get AP with everyone, I think. So... Actually, wait. Does the game revive me before the escape sequence? Or am I going to have to do that with half a party? And no healing? I guess the game is kind enough not to show the werewolf getting squished. Nope. 
go back. That's a healing thing. Okay, so this is the time to escape sequence. With, um, prizes? I don't remember where all the things are or what's worth it. Some of them are monsters that give you things that are good. There's at least, like, a, ri a ribbon and a spell in here. Somewhere. The escape music is very Sonic Drowning, you're right. It's also a very short loop. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. It's gonna go on for a while. There's the ribbon. Ribbons can only be equipped by dancers in this game though, so um not quite as useful. Unless you're stuck with a dancer. I better bring it. have any healing items. I'm stuck as monks. I'm going to get owned. <laughs> if everyone can get chakra in time, I can at least heal that way. Stop! No, bad. No one's gonna get chakra. Oh, that's a sooner. Okay, I'm reasonably certain that that box is not anything cool then. Um... Thank you. 
Nice framed bounty hunting. Good job. Noticed that there were still sparklies flying around, so we didn't get all of them. But we do get Beastmaster. And Geomancer. And Ninja. Archer and Bard went elsewhere. Ranger, actually, not Archer. And you know what that means? It's Gilgabot time once more. Oop. Donk. Alright, Gilgabot. Bless me with the next terrible job. Hashtag fire. Not Firefly Music Festival or Fire Up Chips. Just fire, please. And what do we get? What do we get? What is the prize? Lay it on me, Gilgabot. Eventually. I know you can't reply to everything perfectly, but... You know. What do we get? It's... Chemist! No! 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 I made the dogs bark! God damn it, Gilgabot! I'm going to kill you! I don't want to frickin' chart! Okay, fine. This is what made me quit my run last year. I just didn't want to use chemists that badly. God damn Frickin... Oh well, yeah, at least I get to use Chompy's chart. Uh, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I'm sorry! I, I really don't like Chemist at all. Oh, uh, Gilgabot. 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 Choke on a burrito. I don't know why a burrito. <laughs> I think mostly because I was going to say something more vulgar and then I changed my mind. Yeah, I know Chemist is good. Chemist is like one of the most broken classes in the game. Generally speaking. Uh, still though. Still, though. <laughs> well, I don't have to use it yet, because we don't have the Earth job yet. But... There it is. Yeah, Gilgabot, I've got problems. <laughs> the Chemist isn't quite like Salve Maker. I wish it was because Salve Maker in Four Heroes of Light was like my favorite healing job ever made. But yeah, okay. So, oh right, I need to actually I need to disable that and put Gilgamot back in the corner where he belongs and edit this. Wait, what? Hold on. Stupid. Grr. There we go. <laughs> so, currently we only have Monk and Geomancer, which means that we have to have at least one Monk and at least one Geomancer in the party. OK. 
can I... No, I can't buy... Okay, but... So, let's see, let's see. Uh, Lena will... You will... Pajamas. We can do barehanded geomancers, that sounds fun. I guess. I'll go with two monks, two geomancers, I guess, for now. Actually, no. I'm going to go three geomancers. Out of the way, Chancellor. All right. So our next stop, I guess, is this way. Hello. I love. The Geomancer poses that they do, a lot, they're really good. Uh, make all the predictions you want, I don't see why not. Turtle shells will be important for our chemist that we got, so that's important. To know. Although it's also fun that, um, oh man, do I really want to spoil what the hashtag void command does as far as I know? Because, like, it could do something that would actually make this better. <laughs> now, am I actually supposed to be here yet, or was I supposed to talk to Sid first? Uh, yeah, it is actually possible for one of those jobs to be obtained in a forbidden run. I, that is, that has been confirmed, but there's something else that forbidden run does as well. Level 5 death! What level are we? 12. Okay, we're probably fine. Oh yeah, we can go to Tycoon and get stuff, but I don't think any of it's, like, really useful for me. Also, I didn't buy any god dang items, so I'll be right back to the library. <laughs> I keep forgetting to buy stuff. One day I will not. I think me ending that one Final Fantasy V run at the um, level 5 death was still one of the funniest things I've ever done, actually. <laughs> One thing in the iOS port, and the Steam version, is that you have to manually increase the amount of things you're buying by one every time. You can't do this faster at all. It's not possible. So there's that. 
I guess since I'm going to get camera, I have to buy a bunch of everything at some point, right? Um, what do I actually want? Good grief. Ethers, high potions, potions, turtle shells, eye drops, antidotes, phoenix downs. Kiss is... Wah! Hey! <laughs> People are so quick to compliment me and I don't know what to do about it. <sighs> I also don't have anywhere on my screen to put the chompy chart that she made nor anywhere on the stream. I'll have to figure that out in the future. But we don't even have chemist yet. So, you know. I did say turtle shells. You'll notice we might have we have found some already from like some certain enemies, such as these tortoises, drop them. Turtles and tortoises aren't the same thing unless you're playing video games. Geomancers do a lot, at least right now. So, um, this way. That's not Rome, that's just a crappy mythical dragon. It's not a cool one. Don't worry about it. It is quite a large book, that is true. Sometimes the books have a lot of enemies in them, apparently. Sometimes they've got Ghostbusters. One of the better lines of dialogue in the game. Oh, hello. <laughs> Bye! Not this time. Okay, that's a lot. Can Gaia do anything to you? Oh, you can get confused by it, apparently, even though it healed you. Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh... I wonder if Ifrit can run out of... Ifrit can probably run out of PP. I mean MP.
I'll just let Ifrit have fun for a while, why not? Aw, oh, man. Never mind. Okay, fine. I guess uh, Geomancy ain't gonna do nothing for me. Luckily, we have barehanded Geomancers! Who crit and missed at the same time. Geomancy does a random thing in a set list based on the area or terrain that you're in. So if I can confuse you again... There we go. So, while I'm in the library, Geomancy will have a set amount or a set list of moves that it can do. While I'm in some other terrain, it will have a different set. In previous versions of this game, Geomancy also chose what it could do based on your level. But in this version of the game, it always functions as if you were level 99, so that doesn't matter anymore. It is kind of unreliable, but if it lines up with the situation that you're looking for, it's very good. Right now I'm hoping that Ifrit can run out of MP. I'm assuming that he can. Why do people keep saying nice things to me? That's silly. This is extremely silly. It's been different rate rounds, like a record or something like that. Assuming that if it has a, a limited amount of MP to use, but we'll see. Just in case there's like an actually damaging move I can do that will hit ever. Sonic Boom is a percentage based attack, so it won't be able to hit a boss. But it's worth seeing if there's literally anything else, I guess. Does Kick Deconfuse? I'm assuming it would, yeah. It was worth a shot. Please do the right one. There we go. It's true, Tam, you are pretty good. Not just pretty good, you're like rather good. Quite good. <laughs> <laughs> 
very good even. I love the Forest Geomancer sassy pose a lot. If I must have a lot of MP or something. Or infinite. That is also possible. Or if its moves don't cost MP for some reason. Any of this is possible, but it's impossible to actually tell. Anyone who knows more about FF5 than I do know if this is actually going to do anything or not? Anyone? <laughs> well, this is really funny. I'm beginning to feel like it's not actually working. So, let's see. If it has a thousand MP. Okay. That is, yep, that seems to be correct. Um, so this will take a while, basically. But it's working. This is the safest way to do it, probably. Oh dear. Bairaga costs like 30 something, probably, right? I don't actually know if enemies can die when they run out of MP. I don't think so in this game. Twenty-five, alright. So he just has to cast Fyraga like a lot. I think I've come far enough through with the strategy that I should just keep doing it. He, he's probably over halfway by now.
fire is 10. Fire is probably like 5 or something then. Um, I'm confusing Ifrit so that he runs out of MP by casting fire spells on himself so that I can fight him safely. Because I don't have any reliable ways of healing. And if I if he runs out of PP, he can only do a few things that are easier to deal with. Oh. The unfortunate side effect is that this will take a while. Okay, fires four. I've been at this for a while, so it's probably... So if it's probably low-ish on MP by this point. Also, I guess technically the correct way to pronounce this boss's name is Ifrit. But I have never really internalized that, so... This is my revenge against Gilgabot for giving me Chemist. I don't know how this affects Gilgabot at all, but that's what I'm going to pretend. Is happening? Thanks for the follow! I don't know what part of what I'm doing right now convinced you to follow this this uh, channel, but thank you anyways. See, if I let him do whatever the heck he wants, he just kills me. So I have to do this. Or else grind. By contrast, the next boss, who is usually annoying, is probably going to be a lot less annoying this time. Come <laughs> on. 
Aha! There we go. But does he have enough MP to cast Fire One? Probably. Apparently I can't hit through crap from the back row. But he can still do this, because this doesn't cost anything. Thankfully, it's one of the less painful options that he's got. This is probably not worth it because apparently Ifrit can dodge things. Healing break. Nope, not enough to cast regular fire either.
critical miss again. <laughs> Enough! Finally! <laughs> So apparently I've proven my worth by probably making Ifrit super annoyed. Hooray! <laughs> that was... that was goofy as heck. I'm glad I did that, just because it was amusing. Anyway, uh, wait. It hates books. Oh, bye. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a save point coming up. So. <laughs> Conversely, this boss is usually super frustrating. However, as you may have noticed... Oh, Sonic Boom works on it. I didn't know that. Okay. But um, as you may have noticed, Geomancers have a fire attack in this dungeon. So... And this boss is weak to fire. So this might... Okay, this might be more annoying than I thought it was, but it won't be as bad as it could be. Hello! Yep, there we go. If you get a Beastmaster at this point, one of the things you can capture within the library can sometimes use an instant death thing that hits Biblos for some reason. Now let's take a look at Mid's dialogue portrait courtesy of Amano. Just, just look at it for a while. So Amano draws Mid with glasses and Mid's sprite doesn't have glasses. Amano draws Sid without glasses and Sid's sprite does have glasses. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, right as Mid opened the bookcase, so it sounded like the following sound effect overlapped the noise of the game. That, that amused me for some reason. <laughs> Alright.
Funny how the game always tries to make you leave the screen with the healing thing on it before you're ready to leave. By the way, if you step in that desert, you can run into an enemy that's really powerful for this point in the game and likes to kill you. But it does have blue magic for you to learn, if you have one of those. Alright, Geomancers, let's be a little bit more coordinated. Thank you. Maybe a little less coordinated? Oh, there was probably a piano in Walsh that I forgot as well. Dang. I'll get it later, maybe. And here's the part where Sid gets beaten up by his grandson. Thank you for the bits. This is the part where Galef has a flashback to being beaten up by his own grandkid. And also remembers of something. I wonder if I should add that goofy bit jar to the stream at some point. Some people have fun with that. I don't get a whole lot of bits though, so it might not even...
Flashback to two seconds ago. And then flashback to who knows how long ago. Your sprite is not even aligned in the same way. This is a basic mistake. Cryle, please. So, there's some sort of sports emote giveaway thing going on? recognize one or more of these sprites from earlier. I mean, one, if you don't count Golov already. Remembering things is hard. But go up is okay, it's fine. I don't think I've ever heard the expression slept like a top except in this video game. We have got our second vehicle. Time to go lose it instantly. And I'm not even kidding. So, okay, yeah, there's a there's a mini map. I forgot somehow. All right, there's still things on the ocean to fight. Okay, so Big Wave, better than Tsunami. Big Wave and Tsunami, non-elemental. Waterfall, yes, elemental. There's logic there at some point, I'm sure. I guess I could farm Dark Matter, but I don't think I need a whole lot of it. <sighs> uh, what do, how does this work again? I mean, I guess I need some of it, eventually. I don't really want to make people watch me farm items, though. I mean, I made them watch me drain Ifrit's MP all the way, but that's different. Prototypes? I don't remember where those are. 
I guess they must be on an island that you can get to by boat. I don't really want to do that right now, so let's just lose the boat immediately. How did it get over there? <laughs> yeah, that NPC does have quite the laugh, doesn't he? This is a pretty silly way to not give you all the fire jobs at once. Anyway, now we have a limited flight. <laughs> Best chocobo theme out of 10. How do you open the world map again? I mean, there's a mini map, yes, but. Yeah, that's not helpful. Like what? I forgot that that existed. Okay. So the black chocobo can only land in forests. Just trying to make sure I didn't miss any pianos. By the way, Gorilla is okay, I guess. <laughs> We could go get Shiva at this point if we really wanted to. <laughs> okay. I'll try not to do that every time. Did I get the did I get the thing is there one in here? Uh, I don't remember.
Hooray! Now again, the pianos don't matter unless I get barred. But, they're there. And some of them might be missable. I didn't do it that time. I restrained myself. Here's the town of Licks, where Bart's, or Poshul in this case, comes from. There's some flashbacks and stuff you can see here that aren't too important. There's an item shop with stuff that's on sale. There's a few unique things you can buy. I don't think any of them are relevant to me. Okay, maybe those are. I guess the monk can equip those. Time to grinding. There's one other thing. This is where Bart's lived. There's a music box. This flashback does get you something, other than just being a flashback. Return of the Orange Haze. Still don't understand that choice. Bart's used to have blue-green hair, and that turned brown eventually, because they didn't want to make another young boy sprite. By the way, I can't advance this text on my own, it just does it, similar to the intro of the game, which I didn't show. <laughs> So why do they only have one bed? And yeah, Bart's mother died of some mysterious disease that gave her spasms. Well, they're, they're both dead now, but they weren't then. Speaking of... You can talk to various other people in the town for different flashbacks and stuff. At this point, you can also go get Rama, the lightning summon, which is also technically not pronounced Rama and is pronounced Ramu instead. So I, you have to... At least according to Final Fantasy XIV, you're supposed to be saying Ifrit and Ramu. Which is really hard to ever remember. Oh right, this is why Geomancers don't work well in forests, because they just spam that instead. That being said, though... Ooh, uh, 
I'm going to go get some money from the money dogs. They're over this way. I went the wrong way. The Ifrit pronunciation, you mean? I mean, I can try and remember it. I'm just, I've just been so used to pronouncing them how it looked like they were spelled since they weren't voice pronounced for so long. That question mark attack, the, the thing that it does, like in terms of the effect of the attack, it does damage based on current HP, like, it does damage based on how much HP you lost, basically. Max HP minus current HP damage. As for what, as for how the attack works, like what it means to be attacked by that, I have no idea. It is a complete mystery. Yeah, this is what happens if you try to grind in a forest with just Geomancers. But, yeah. Actually, I should... Are there poses? Uh, I have no idea. Maybe I should have two monks now. No, it's based on how much HP the dogs have lost, not your characters. So, the correct thing to do is to kill them quickly, I guess. It's only dangerous if you hit the dogs and do not defeat the dogs. But even then, they have so little health that it doesn't matter too much. That attack is probably more threatening when other enemies do it later. But I, even then, I don't remember which enemies have that attack. I might end up just grinding for gill and stuff a little bit off camera. Because I think I might need to stop and take a break and get something to eat. I'm probably not going to stream this for more than three or four hours at a time, just like I usually stream. So, might be time to stop for today. I gotta go complain about Gilgabot on Twitter. It's very important. If I can stop myself from destroying these dogs for long enough to actually stop the stream. But yeah, um, thank you for watching everyone. I'll probably be streaming this most days in a row until I finish the run, unless I just decide not to finish the run. 
if I get too tired of whatever. I don't know. Most years I've been able to finish, but, you know, Chemist is really discouraging to me specifically, even though it's one of the best jobs in the game. And even though I have a handy chart at this point. But yeah. Alright. In that case, thank you for coming and watching, everyone. Thank you for your support and such. Probably tomorrow I will stream this again. And we'll maybe get the Earth Crystal by then. Bye!